Hey, what up, players? It's Wallboss Tay back up in this mud. Today we're going to finish off our Chaos Warp Smith. And, um, yeah, we don't really have too much left to do. I think, if anything, we'll edge highlight these uh, black plates, the black chest piece. We'll do um, some hazard stripes on the shoulder pad. And uh, we'll try and paint up the, the Y hazard stripes on this wire here, although that might take more than one tutorial to do just because that's, that is a huge, like I'm, I'm breaking it down on the, on the, um, looking at the box and it looks pretty, pretty cray cray. So we, we might not do that, but <clears throat> uh, definitely want to get to the finished details. I also want to, I don't have it, so I'm not going to do it in this video, but I want to come back uh, soon and show off the Necron compound dry paint because um, it's the paint you dry brush on. Because for something like the Iron Warriors, which is predominantly one color, that might, that might prove useful. For now though, let's, um, paint, let's paint up some hazard stripes. So we're gonna take Averlin Sunset, and we're going to paint diagonal hazard stripes on the shoulder pad. I've also gotten some requests to do a regular "Quote unquote regular space uh, chaos space marine as an iron warrior, not just this warp smith, but like you know a regular run of the mill chaos space marine." So I'll do that before we get into our white scars. It's going to be really simple. That'll probably just take one one video rather than I think this one we're up to three. So there's the first one. It's going to be kind of hard to see just because of the angle that I need to be at, but. Um, Should be fine. Should be fine. I really like the um the black and yellow motif hazard stripes. I'm not sure how they justify it in the in the fluff of the game. The fact that Iron Warriors, I think the Iron Warriors are the only ones who have it. Uh, at least predominantly, this yellow and black hazard stripe motif. And don't worry if your lines aren't straight, they're probably not going to be straight the first time you paint them on. And don't be afraid of getting them on other surfaces as well, because you can always go back and fix. Okay, Ooh. so this is what I painted up. This is kind of how I held the model too, like this, if you missed it. Igor, focus! Sorry, master! And now I'm going to show you how to fix it. And take our black. Yeah, it's black. You might have uh, Abaddon black. Like I always say, use whatever black suits you. And we're going to just clean up the edges. Paint from the outside in. Oh, it's really watery. So with the Iron Warriors Legion, their Primarch, Perturabo, or I guess after the uh, Siege of Terra, they were being hounded by the Imperial Fists and so they set up what they called the Iron Cage which was like a series of trench works and minefields and um, they hold themselves up in this great fortress network on this one planet and they kind of pretty much dared the Imperial Fists who were their kind of adversary in the Loyalist Legions. They're like, come and get us, suckers! And so the Imperial Fist said, oh no you didn't! And they went after him. Oh boy. This is all going wrong. <clears throat> and... I let that dry for a little while. Let's attack these stripes on the back. And, um... So they go through this whole iron 
fortress iron cage thing. They they fight their way through the minefields and the, the tank traps and everything. And the Imperial fists are like, oh, we're coming for you, Iron Warriors. You done did it now. And when they finally get to the center of their fortress network where they expect uh, their Primarch of the Iron Warriors, Perturabo, to be hiding. Then they find out, guess what? It's not there. The Iron Warriors laid a trap in the center and uh, it was just no fortress there. They thought there was, but there wasn't. And the Iron Warriors from like miles and miles away sitting behind all their heavy artillery were like flipping them the bird. For more on this exciting event in Imperial history, please read the Iron Warriors entry on the Lexicanum. Yeah, so I'm going to be painting uh, just a regular Iron Warrior pretty soon. But we'll do. We'll finish this guy up first. I've also got some scourges to unbox. I've got so much stuff, like Uncle Festus. Oh, so much stuff to do. I'm actually gonna be gone for a while and in December uh, so the videos might slow down for a bit but um, I had some traveling to do okay so when we're doing this Y pattern <coughs> on the back wires what you're gonna be doing is starting with if you're right-handed then you're gonna do diagonal slashes from bottom left to upper right if you're left-handed then you're gonna do your slashes from upper left to bottom right. And we're gonna make them a little bit wider than our hazard stripes because we have to connect the Y. So for example, let me show you what I mean. Bottom left to upper right. This would be like one stripe. We wrap all the way around the wire. And then you're going to make the Y come from the other side. from the upper left to the middle. If you can kind of see how that makes a, little, a Y shape. It's very sloppy, but uh, you kind of get the idea. Then you're gonna take your Chaos Black and you're going to clean up the center. This is a very hard design to do, so don't be upset if you don't get it. Like, this is actually the first time I'm doing it too. I worked it out in theory. I painted it out. Uh, I did a little experiment on a piece of paper. But now that I'm actually putting it in practice, uh, I'm scared too. So we're both, we're both experiencing the fear together. Okay, so I make this kind of Y pattern. And you just keep going all the way up. I don't know why. Heavy Metal Team wants to make you work so hard to get this design correct. I think it's because they want to challenge us, Master, to be as creative as possible. I think it's because they're a bunch of douchebags. Hey, Lewis, Family Channel. Okay, so we're just going to continue from the upper left. We're gonna continue that Y pattern, bottom left to upper right is where we're starting. And then again, we connect it from the upper left to the center. It's kind of like cross stitching almost if, you, if you've ever uh, knitted before. <laughs> and I know there's a huge amount of you out there that watch my channel that love to knit. 
a lot to knit. A lot to knit me cut hair sweaters. Just uh, fixing up the shoulder pad here. Yeah, I actually think this dull, this darker yellow rather than the bright flash gets yellow is the way to go. Okay, so we're gonna continue painting from the bottom left to the upper right. And then connecting it, bottom left to the upper right. And as long as your yellow stripe doesn't fade into nothing, just wind it all the way around the wire as much as you can, then you should be effective. Like you don't want it to just taper off into nothing in the middle of the wire. You gotta be able to see where it goes or else you lose the effect of this, uh, this Y pattern. And the same thing goes from it goes for the left side here. All right, so I'm gonna go all the way down the wire now. And uh, if you're doing this at home, then you can just press pause and do it. you finished. I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go back. I just I think the flash gets yellow is a little too bright. So I'm just gonna go back through the center with my Averlin sunset through all these hazard strikes we painted before. You're also gonna be doing at the end of this is um Cleaning up any, like you see I've gotten some of the paint onto one of the metal wires or uh, metal mechadendrite things. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that. Just repaint over it with lead belcher, should be fine. If you want to go from the top to the bottom, then just you're going to make your Y design, wrap it around the wire, then go all the way down, just like this. Wrap it all the way around the wire. Yeah, I might as well keep filming it. all the way down. Oh man, have you guys seen the, uh, or are any of you planning on getting the new Megaforce bundles? I'm not. Can't afford it. But it's pretty much like an army, or like a start of an army in a box. In fact, I think the Vampire Counts one, and I, does the Empire one give you a chance to, or the option of doing a character? I know the Vampire Counts one, you can make like the, the Ghoul King or the, the Vampire Lord on the Zombie Dragon, your uh, army general. Okay, and disclaimer, I'm not a heavy metal painter, so if this comes out horribly wrong, then I just wanna cover all my bases. If yours comes out terrible and everybody laughs at you, I'm sorry. I think the one, the one good tip I can give to anybody though, is that painting is not about getting it perfect the first pass. Like, you're, not going to be able to do that. 
I don't care how good you are. Usually, like 95% of the time, you're gonna have to, everything looks better after you give it a, a second pass with the brush once you clean up the lines, you know? Like right now, I'm cleaning up the, the yellow with, with black and it's already looking way better. Okay, and there you have it, players. Yellow hazard stripes in the Y pattern. And I think that's not bad, considering it's the first time I've ever tried it. Uh, you can always do more on the left side. Clean it up with the black paint, as I said before. And um, yeah, good luck if you're gonna try this pattern out, because oh, it's a doozy. Um, I'd love to see if you guys have tried it yourselves, how, um, how it turned out for you you should definitely uh, do a video response. Okay, Skaven Blight Dinge for the black plates on the front. They say Skaven Blight Dinge is supposed to be the new uh, Caradon Granite, which was you know one of my favorite paints in the old range, but I don't believe it. We're just lining the edges plate there and down here between each individual plate I love that this is a tire tread for uh, tanks I think that's fantastic make sure we got it in focus Igor sorry master I wasn't paying attention Always listening to my Lindsay Lohan and Demi Lovato CDs. No, you weren't. <laughs> Alright. The last highlight we're going to add before we get out of here is... on stone this is gonna highlight the edges and the corners so we're gonna be really really sparing with this one right here for the breastplate here on this side the eye will get drawn to it the less it's used on the bottoms. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. Let's add a little touch of white to the ceramite white to the um, eyepiece, the little viewfinder thing, and then we'll be finished, completely, kaput, done. And there you have it, how to paint the Chaos Warsmith, Warp Smith. I guess this one was really all about the, the hazard stripes. I'd love to see your guys' interpretation of Chaos Warp Smith, if you guys painted them from a different chapter. Uh, this one is very obviously Iron Warriors with the hazard stripes. Uh, let me know what you think, if you would do anything differently. And thanks for watching, latest players!